Hey guys, it's Josh here with DesiredTutorials.com. We can find everything for Drupal in a non-coding perspective. And right now, we're going to figure out how to add CSS to the font awesome icons we just added to our other website. So the first thing we have to do is we have to come to our site. And we have to figure out where those icons are actually located. So if we right click one, we can say inspect element with some kind of element inspector. And I think Firefox comes with this one built in, but you can also download Firebug. So we're going to inspect our element. And we're going to just figure out where it's located. We can see that it's, a, um, it's an I tag with a class and all that. We want the actual ID of it. So here's an ID, and it's in this block. So we'll just use the block. You're usually pretty safe uh, with the code. It's going to actually work if you use the block. But you could also use the... Uh, the region which is right here the ID region and there's a zone so the whole footer right here that you could use but we're just going to use the block so I'm only, I'm only going to want to apply to this little section right here so the next thing we need to come to our control panel this one isn't my control panel this is just a uh, cheap one that they wanted to use and I kind of despise it so I don't use the cheapest version of GoDaddy uh, the other one like the more expensive one really works just as like all the rest so we come to our sites all themes my ugly duck and then CSS then I'm just going to use the global because I'm using Omega responsive theme for this website I'm just going to use the global this is why I don't like this stupid cheap uh, GoDaddy one so once you're inside your, uh, your theme CSS file come down to wherever you're going to put it which I already have a note put in right here because I knew I was going to do it now we're going to start with a little pound sign put the actual location and then we're in the I tag so I'm going to put an I and I'm just going to change the color of them just to make sure that I'm in the right place I usually do like a big change just to make sure I'm dealing with the right thing so we'll just do color we'll just make it a uh, white that way I can know if I'm in the right place so let's refresh this page and see if they turn white. Alright, so we're in the right place. I at least know that much. So now let's, uh, let's just add some padding. And for the top and bottom, we don't really need anything. We don't need any padding. For left and right, let's add five. And we're going to float them left. I know they're already displayed in line, but just in case. Display in line. And then let's save that. And they should just space out. Oh, see, file not found. Hold on. So then we're going to just add, let's make uh, the size a little bit bigger. So font size. Let's make it 24 pixels. Let's try to get this to save. There, it's saved, it looks like, down here. I refresh that, and now we see that they all changed. I guess we do need some padding on the top and bottom. So let's just make it, we'll make it 10. Okay. So with that, that's how easy it is to add CSS to our little uh, font awesome icons, but we can also do some other cool little tricks. Like we can add some cool hovers and some other stuff, so let's come back in here. Let's make this, uh, I don't know, let's say 18, that way it's not massive. And I don't have this code memorized, so I just copied and pasted it. And then from here, I'm just going to copy everything. Let's and let me just paste that again. Then I'm just going to delete everything from my hover except for this uh, transition one. Let's add a hover over our i tag. Let's make this point, I don't know, 1.5 or 1.15. And that should allow a little bit uh, transition when we roll over our different i tags. And see how they grow a little bit. I mean, we could. Oh, I could have changed the color of them too, I guess. So. 
I'm just gonna use a very obvious color. So now when you roll over them, they should go into that blue and then also grow a little bit. Oh, what did I do? I don't know why the color's not working. But that's pretty much how you add uh, rollovers and stuff to your different icons and add CSS to them. So I hope that was helpful, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.